did you feel like on day one you belonged? Uh, no, I had a rough preseason and then I had a good season my rookie year, but in preseason, I kind of felt myself reverting back to how I felt my freshman year. And so I was able to recognize it a lot faster and kind of flip that switch for. That's what I want to ask. That's the money question right there. So you, it took you a while, your freshman year, you clearly accelerated that process as a pro. What was different between the two experiences? Being able to recognize it, I'd never been in that position before my freshman year. And so I had no idea why I wasn't performing the way I needed to. And so being in that position, um, when I got to my rookie year and in preseason, when I wasn't, I had like four points and five points in our preseason games, I was able to recognize like what I was doing and why I was feeling that way. And then kind of flip the switch by, and then in our first game, I think I had like 27 points. And, and what are you telling yourself in that moment? Um, kind of just to get over it. Cause the reason I felt that way is because I felt like insecure in myself as a basketball player. Um, because what I get driving the insecurity because, um, you know, everyone was like bigger and stronger and I was used to being, I'm only six, foot one, but in college, I was like, usually one of the tallest people out there. Um, and I used that to my advantage a lot and I had to score in different ways because I wasn't the tallest person anymore. And so that was kind of hard. And she changed into a three. I was a four before. So changing positions, that was also hard. Um, but kind of, like I said, just getting over that, like I knew I was there for a reason. And when I focus on working hard instead of scoring, it's so much better for me because it's something that I can control.